Published 2048 Eastern Standard Time, the 20th of January 2018. Updated 1221 Eastern Standard Time, the 21st of January 2018. The head of a hugely popular North Korean girl band crossed the heavily fortified border into South Korea on Sunday to check preparations for rare performances by an art troupe she also leads during next month's Winter Olympics. Appearing live on South Korean television, Hyun Song while DIDNT speak when she walked past a crowd of reporters, onlookers and a barrage of camera flashes before boarding an express train at Seoul's railway station for the eastern city of Gangnam, where her art troupe is to perform during the Pyeongchang Olympics. She is the leader of Pyongyang's all-female Moranbong band, which was handpicked by leader Kim Jong-un. North Korean Hyun Song-wal, head of North Korea's art troupe, arrives at the Seoul train station in Seoul, South Korea, Sunday, January 21, 2018. SHE's been the subject of intense South Korean media attention since she attended last week's talks at the border that struck an agreement on the 140-member Sam ji art troupe's two performances, one in Seoul and the other in Gangnam, where some of the games will take place after the talk. North Korea said Hyun would also lead the Sam Jeon art troupe, whose performances would be the first by a North Korean group in South Korea since 2002, with no official media access given to Hyun. TV stations broadcast live footage of her bus moving on Seoul's roads before arriving at the railway station, where hundreds of police officers were mobilized to maintain order. Photos showed a smiling Hyun shaking heads with the South Korean official upon arrival at the border. Later Sunday, wearing a dark winter coat and fur scarf and with half her hair tied to the back, she looked more serious with an expressionless face. Hyun's arrival came hours after the International Olympic Committee allowed 22 North Korean athletes to take part in the Olympics in exceptional entries given to the North. Among the 22 are 12 women who will join the South Korea's female hockey team in the Korea's first ever unified Olympic team. The other sports events the North Koreans will compete in are figure skating, short track speed skating, alpine skiing and cross-country skiing. Drone photo taken on January 3, 2018, shows Olympic Park in Gangnam, South Korea, containing ice sports venues for the Pyeongchang Olympics. High and Song Wal Si, a well-known lead singer of North Korea's all-female Moranbong band, arrives at Seoul Station, Seoul, South Korea. High and is leading a seven-member delegation to the city of Gangnam on South Korea's east coast to do preparatory work for cultural performances during next month's Winter Olympics. The 22 North Korean athletes will march together with South Korean players under a single single unification flag depicting their peninsula during the opening ceremony in Pyeongchang. Such an agreement would have seemed impossible only a few weeks ago, IOC Chief Thomas Park said in Lausanne, Switzerland. The current mood of reconciliation between the Koreas flared after Kim abruptly expressed his willingness to improve ties and send a delegation to the Olympics during his annual New Year's address. Outside critics dismissed Kim's overture as a tactic to use improved ties with Seoul to weaken U.S.-led international sanctions over North Korea's advancing nuclear and missile programs. Among the 22 are 12 women who will join South Korea's female hockey team in the Korea's first-ever unified Olympic team pictured. Kim Jong-un Hyun, who is also an alternate member of the ruling party's Central Committee, is traveling with six other North Koreans. Her delegation had been expected in South Korea on Saturday, but North Korea cancelled that plan on Friday night, before it proposed a two-day trip starting Sunday. It wasn't clear why the visit was rescheduled. Hyun's advance team is to inspect a venue for her art troupe's performance in Gangyunag later Sunday. The team is expected to stay overnight at Gangneung before returning to Seoul to check another venue in the capital on Monday, according to Yonhap News Agency. The Sam ji art troupe, which comprises orchestra members, singers and dancers, is part of North Korea's Olympic delegation that also includes athletes, officials, journalists and a taekwondo demonstration team. North Korea on Sunday offered to send another advance team across the border on Thursday to look at accommodation facilities, a press center and the venue for the opening and closing ceremonies. According to Seoul's Unification Ministry, South Korea is to send its own advance team to North Korea on Tuesday to review logistics for a joint cultural event at the North's Diamond Mountain and their non-Olympic skiers' joint practices at the North Smashik Ski Resort, the ministry said. Hyun was a popular singer before she was appointed to lead the Moranbong Band, which serves as the soft public face of the Kim government. Its members in short skirts and high heels are stylish military uniforms sing and dance odes to Kim. There is speculation that some of the Moranbong members may also appear in the Sam ji art troupe, which observers say was likely hastily formed ahead of Olympics-related talks with South Korea.
Under a deal with South Korea, the Sam Ji Yong group is to play folk songs and classic masterpieces that are well known to both Koreas and fit in with the theme of unification, an attempt by the group to perform any propaganda piece would trigger protests from conservatives in South Korea. The Moran Bong Van cancelled its planned 2015 performance in Beijing at the last minutes after Beijing wanted to replace a missile launch scene from the background of the stage. According to South Korea media, Hyun was a popular singer before she was appointed to lead the Moran Bong Band, which serves as the soft public face of the Kim government.